Okay, uh, trying to teach Jax to not pee on poles. He knows pretty much not to do it on trees, although he'll try if I'm not paying close attention. He'll try to get by with it. He'll still try to put pee on bushes, and certain bushes I allow him. Uh, but I'm trying to get him out of peeing on the fire hydrants and poles any kind of like wood posts or something and trying to teach him just pee in the grass because he likes marking his territory he loves to do that so he does it all practically every five steps <laughs> and if I tell him to heal and make him heal he doesn't have a problem with that but this is what he enjoys and he likes doing so I like to let him have a good time sometimes and so he knows when he's healing, he knows when he's working and supposed to be out in public, he knows how to act. And he knows when he's on his own to do his, to just have free time and a break. Um, so he knows the difference in a sniff walk where he's got freedom and when he's got to do what I tell him. He pretty much understands that. So, this is my new leash. It's uh, around the waist and has a bungee cord. Um, I love it. I really love it. And that way he can... It doesn't jerk him as hard if he tries to go too far. Uh, it doesn't jerk him like a regular leash would. But, uh, I don't know, it's, it's, I like it a lot. So here we go, we're starting our walk. It lasts longer than, way longer than what I've got room on this phone to record. And we have a pretty long walk. No, Jax, this way. We walk to the pond. And then we come back and walk down another street and it goes to a park. And we walk around the park, not in the park where the children's equipment is, but on the outskirts around it and then it takes us in the back around this I don't know it's like a field area that's in back of a school and the school's got a huge playground sometimes people were a lot of times people were playing ball back there having like ball teams and uh, kids ball teams so we go in back of the school and during the daytime, the school kids are out playing at recess, and uh, in the evenings, of course, that's when people are out um, with a team, uh, training children. Sometimes there's a little bit older kids playing football, so practice some football. I doubt it. it's not a real game, just practice. So you know, our walk is pretty long, um, and he sure takes his time. He loves to mark. One of his most favorite things to do. He lives to be able to have a sniff walk. <laughs> I'm eventually going to use that as a reward later on after he gets into more advanced um, lessons with the professional trainer. But for right now, and, and, and one of the rewards will be getting to go to the six acre dog park. It's like ten dollars for an hour and it's six acres and you have it all to yourself you schedule yourself in and you have the whole park to yourself and it's got a pond there that the dogs can even swim in well I imagine that's closed that part of it's closed up maybe they even close in the winter I'm not sure if it's open all year round it's open right now I don't know if it closes, probably does, <laughs> I imagine. But, I don't know. We're not ready for that part anyway, so I'm not worried about finding out more about it yet. So, well, I'm gonna get off here before I use up all my space, um, my storage space. So, I'm gonna cut this off. I don't know, I, I put an I, uh, SD card in the phone, and I have plenty of space left, and then all of a sudden it was filled up, 
And I thought, what the heck? What happened? I think what happened is my my Google um, music player, all the music that I purchased from Google, I think somehow it downloaded to my phone, and I wasn't meaning to. I think it downloaded so that it could be played offline. So it's taken up space on the SD card because that's where it would have downloaded it to. So I got to go through my SD card and go through everything, try to find out where it's at and delete it so that I can have the space for my videos. So I'm going to cut this off. Oh, he already pooped. <laughs> and uh, we'll throw it away. When we get to another area where there's construction, they got great big, they're building houses and got great big trash dumpster bins for the construction workers. They told me it's okay to throw his dog poop bags in there with the poop in them. They told me it's okay to drop them in there since he poops such a little amount. The thing of it is, sometimes they end up with three bags. For some reason, he likes to do it in threes, like do, or at least two, but he'll like to do a little bit, then do a little bit more, and then drop a little bit more. And he'll sniff till he's got the right place. And then if he's finished and don't have anything left, when he smells another place he'd like to drop, he'll hunch like he's, like he's going to poop, but nothing comes out. <laughs> It just smells like the right place, and he just does it as if it's instinctive or something, which it may be. So, okay, I'm off of here. Have a nice one, everybody.